Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna show you today is a cool progression. It's a very simple progression, but it's using a rhythm known as a boogaloo rhythm. So basically all you're gonna be doing is using what are known as the primary triads. One, four, and five. Okay, we're gonna start in the key of C. C's first chord, the one, is C, obviously. You can tell that by its name. It's that way because of the way it is, as some people like to say. Four is F because if you go up one, two, three, four notes, or you could look at it like this, one half step, two, three, four, five half steps, that's gonna be the fourth note of the major scale, and then five is G, right next to F, or one, two half steps up. You're gonna do this with both hands. Okay, so get used to the chords in both hands, moving fluidly and smoothly, without interruption between those chords. If this kind of thing happens, that's okay. Just keep at it and really focus on hitting that C chord. So once you have that down, we're gonna add some rhythm to it. So listen carefully. I'll play it one time, then I'll explain what I'm doing. I guess that was actually two times, but that's okay. Uh, what's happening here we have to think in eighth notes. You don't want to really think in quarter notes right now because a lot of these don't fall on one, two, three, four. They fall on the beats between one, two, three, and four. They fall on what are known as the ands. So here's what's happening. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So notice that I'm tapping quarter notes here but I'm counting eighth notes. One and two and three and four. So when you put it all together without counting, it sounds like this. And I want you to be able to do this in all keys. If you move up to G, the only note that changes is you now have an F sharp. But same concept, one, go up, five half steps. C is your new four. D is your new five, so you're left with this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. The key of D, you now have two sharps, F sharp and C sharp, but it's the same idea otherwise. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So the challenge I leave you with every key, even the black keys. And then we'll progress from there. All right. So I'll upload that to YouTube.